Hi guys, so it's been a while since I scratch built anything and as you all know by now I just love orcs but obviously as well as loving orcs I love funny words Boom Dacker Snazwagon, well that's got to be right up there but obviously it fits so well with orcs The orc vehicles also remind me of those wacky racers um, just because obviously vehicles just made from all kinds of stuff and yeah this is what I've made so guys stick around to the end because obviously as I don't play Warhammer 40k I am going to give this fellow away so from now on, anything I make that is, well, is related to anything that I don't play, then, yeah, I'm going to give it away because, well, it just sits on my side and gathering dust. So I'd rather someone sort of got it, used it, or, well, or just put it on their side. So, yeah, stick around to the end, guys, and I'll show you how you can win this little chappy. So, obviously, to start with, I was going to make this guy out of all kinds of bits and pieces. So I've got a bit of a, a box that I've sort of, well, put in all recyclable stuff in. And that was my initial plan, but then I thought, no, let's go with Lego, because I was going to use the wheels from a Lego set anyway, so it made more sense just sort of, yeah, going through the Lego bits. But big disclaimer here, guys, lots of this stuff isn't sort of real Lego. Um, it's a little sort of Lego that comes on a boat from a far-off distance country where the sun rises. Um, you know what I mean. So, yes, yeah, so a lot of these bits aren't sort of proper Lego, but they obviously all fit, well, onto other Lego. So as I say, I was going to use some wheels from uh, from the Lego anyway. Um, and these are ones that I like the look of. So we've got some big ones and some little ones. And don't worry guys, this uh, these Batman wheels, again, that was one of the uh, the cheapest sets that I had. So I used to have a Lego channel where I'd make animations. Uh, and this is going back about three, four, maybe even five years ago. So I have an absolute ton of Lego. Um, obviously I've only bought out a few little pieces here. But I've got uh, lots of big boxes full of the stuff. So yeah, it's just a case of trying to work out where I was going to put things. Um, obviously initially I was going to make them so they all sort of snapped in together. But then I kind of remembered, well, this isn't going to be taken apart. So lots of it's going to get glued together. So it doesn't really need sort of to fit together like a, a normal Lego sort of piece would. So I had to look at a lot of the old um, snaz wagons. Just love that word. Um, and the one I kind of like the look of was sort of like a, a Formula One sort of racing car. So a nice sort of flat low nose. Um, and yeah, that's why I was kind of like picking out bits that had, well, a flat front nose. Um, I do obviously love the other sort of style of uh, vehicles, much more rugged and um, four-wheeler type things. But yeah, so for this first one, um, so it's, it's a fair chance I will make several of these kind of things. Or maybe even like buy kids toys or go to the car booty and get an old kids toy uh, and do some, some converting with that. Um, I mean, I say this every time, if you looked at a lot of my old videos... Whenever I do a scratch built or kit bashing video, I always say how much I love doing them, but then I, I don't do them um, for like another month or so. So I really want to do more of these, but I always end up doing something else. So yeah, these nice big chunky wheels, obviously these are going to go at the back. Um, again, I am gluing everything together just because I don't want anything to come apart and because, well, there's no need for it to come apart. So yeah, good old... Uh, putting together so I, I love Lego um, so yeah guys don't mind I haven't nabbed this off my son this is my Lego um, I don't know if that sounds better or worse to be honest <laughs> so there was no real plan for this it was just a case of picking bits and pieces up sort of putting them in place see if they looked any good and then yeah going from there obviously I want to make the sort of the back end of this bigger because that would be what would house the uh, the engine or the thrusters or well whatever it is that's meant to um, power this thing Although I guess it's Orcs Mines that do most of the powering. And this is a case of, well, cutting bits and pieces up. Uh, sanding them where necessary to make them obviously fit nice and better. And then, yeah, gluing all the bits down. So we all, all know that Warhammer can be pretty expensive. So this good old poor hammer is obviously a great way to get sort of bits and pieces you need. Obviously you won't be able to use these in any kind of tournament. As I'm not sure the exact rule, you guys will know better than me. But obviously, anything you use in a tournament has to be, was it like something like 90% GW official sort of parts or bits and pieces. Um, and obviously, this would fail that miserably. Because as you can see, most of this is going to be Lego bits. Um, there's a few other little bits coming up that aren't Lego. But uh, yeah, this definitely wouldn't be uh, officially rated in a game. But if you're just play, if you're a casual player, like I sort of casually play Kill Team then yeah it doesn't really matter what you make things out of it can be made out of a cardboard box and it'll still be good 
it's taken shape now and I'm pleased with how it's looking. Um, I, obviously, as you can see, obviously from the thumbnail, I don't put this on any kind of base, but I've kind of made it the right size that it would fit on the um, the well the official GW base for um, well, for this vehicle. So yeah, guys, if you want to win this, say stick around to the end and I'll let you know how you can win it. And yeah, obviously you would be able to stick it on a well normal base. So the great thing about recycling plastic bottles is well you've got lots of plastic, and quite a lot of these sort of bottles have well if you get the right ones they will have a flat edge which is obviously great to use to sort of cut up and use as panels and that's what I'm going to be doing here obviously any good old orc vehicle is well has been salvaged from something else so they obviously need to have lots of uh, lots of panels sort of well dotted about the things so to put rivets in I've got sort of my uh, well my sharp blunt tool and just a case of pushing down hard and obviously it makes little indentations that pop out well the other side so yeah, great little way of putting rivets in, uh, well, plastic card or sheets of plastic or whatever it is you're kind of using. So yeah, then it's a case of the usual thing, <laughs> gluing bits all over the place. Again, there's no real sort of pattern method here. It is just a case of wherever you want, slap a bit on. A lot of my earlier videos on this channel are all sort of like orc related. And the main, main reason for this is you really don't have to be too neat in what you do. Um, as in obviously the Orcs do salvage stuff and well, they are probably one of the best sort of kit bashers, scratch builders out there as they really do take anything um, and turn it into, well, something else. Uh, very much like the, uh, the good old A-Team. So um, yes, that's why I used to love making sort of Orc stuff because you could just be as messy as you want and you could build it like, well, like a five-year-old kid would which really would be, well, just slapping stuff here and there. And obviously no vehicles complete without uh, wires and rods that um, don't really have much of a purpose, but they are just there anyway. And that's what this is all about. And yeah, good old corrugated card. Another great stuff for doing any kind of uh, scratch building, as this does look like obviously panels of <laughs> corrugated metal. Um, yeah, so yeah, coming on really well. Uh, there's only a few more little bits to do, and then we can get on to the fun bit of painting. Because obviously at the moment this does still look like, uh, well, like a, a kid's sort of Lego toy. And then I've got some good old gems here. Don't worry guys, I don't do any of the uh, bejazzling or bedazzling or jazzle. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, because obviously I don't do it. But these obviously make for some great rivets. Uh, they're quite large as in regards to rivets. But again, Orcs will use whatever sort of materials they've got. So if they've only got big, uh, big rivets, then big rivets it is. Uh, yeah, fiddly little things. Uh, these do sort of fly around, stick to the tweezers, stick to my fingers. Uh, but it's all good fun, though. So I, I love this this kind of hobby. I love making things. Um, I was very much a Blue Peter kind of kid. So, yeah, I love all this stuff. And, yeah, there's a few little greebly bits here uh, from my Alts, Alts Bits box, even. Uh, try and get my teeth in properly and say that. Um, yeah, so obviously putting these bits on just help make it, uh, well, orkify it. Um and yeah, this is where this sort of vehicle is now 0.01% GW legal. Uh, but again, if you're just a casual player, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've made things out of, well, weirder things and used them. And obviously that's the fun of this, this game. You don't have to take it too seriously. Well, unless you're a tournament player, then yeah, good fun for you. Um, but yeah, for me, I just, yeah, I just love making things out of, well, things. Um, yeah, so guys, let me know in the comments what you want to make, make me uh, or want to see me make next, possibly. Um, say, I am possibly thinking about making another one of these vehicles just because say, I used to love wacky races as a kid. So, yeah, this is right up my street. So, I know recently, obviously, I've been doing a lot of painting miniature figures, um, and that's mainly obviously because I've been playing Kill Team. So, I want to have lots of Kill Teams made up, as well as the, uh, the chess set I'm making for the Orcs and Space Marines. But yeah, I do like to sort of mix it up every now and then and build, build something different. So this is a guy that I've got. I've kind of kitbashed him as well. Uh, made from a variety of pieces. So I think his arm is, well, I think it might be a Space Marine arm. I'm not too sure. Uh, but it was the only arm I could find that was like looking like he was gripping something. So that's why I've gone for him. And obviously the Mad Max style head. So now it's on to painting it. So I might as well take off the tyres just because, well, they look like good tyres and there's no need to paint them. And I'm sticking my usual way of painting. So that's primary in black, 
and then doing some sort of dry brushing. Um, I'm kind of thinking for this vehicle, I'm going to paint it red, even though, to be honest, I think the tyres probably take up as much room as the actual vehicle itself. But uh, yeah, I always like red as well. Red goes faster. And as this is a vehicle that's kind of, say, in my mind, this is like a, a wacky races um, vehicle. So that's why I'm definitely thinking speed for this. But um, yeah, obviously I could do it any colour. Obviously, what's, what's the other colours, guys? You, you all know there's like a sneaky colour, the dangerous blow-up colour. Is it purple, sneaky, yellow, goes boom? Um, yeah, as much as I love orcs, I say I don't really know all the ins and outs of, well, the colours. Um, I don't anything else to do with orcs. Obviously, I just love the look of orcs. I just think they're great. They are very much Mad Max style orcs. Uh, and again, that's something else that I used to really love is Mad Max. So making something along that theme is, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So obviously, because I'm going to be painting this, uh, and it's going to look like obviously a vehicle, I thought I'd be going to doing some, um, some dry brushing, but with some silver. Um, but to be honest, I think I probably could have missed out the dry brushing with the white step, because when I dry brush with the silver, it's quite a light silver that I'm using, and you couldn't really tell a whole lot of difference between the silver and the white. Which is why, well, later on in the video, you will see me, once it's all painted, um, doing a little bit of dry brushing with silver. Um, yeah, I kind of do a little bit of dry brushing with all sorts on this thing. But again, I really enjoyed painting it. Uh, and that is the main thing. I was happy with the, with the uh, can't even talk. I'm happy with the result, even. Um, and I really enjoyed the painting. Which, obviously, as this is a hobby, you want to, you want to enjoy what you're doing. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, yeah, it kind of makes sense. So yeah, the red I'm using is it's kind of like a blood red. Um, goes on really well, but obviously I kind of really wanted it to be a brighter red. Uh, for these vehicles, I think brighter is uh, well, it's more fun and more colourful. But so this is I've only got a couple of reds um, as speed paints or contrast paints, and this one was kind of like the brightest out of the two. Which again is why you'll see later on I go over and I do some dry brushing with a normal red. Um, yeah, I kind of did all sorts of this this vehicle really. But again, I was enjoying it, and it was all fun, and I love how it came out. So yeah, it's all good. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you do any of like, the scratch building for your sort of Warhammer 40k uh, vehicles or train uh, and bits and pieces. As yeah, I always like to know what you guys do. And yeah, if you've got any tips and tricks, uh, again, leave them in the comments, because as much as I've been doing this for a couple of years, we are always learning. There's always something that someone else has done that's such a good idea. And you're like, oh yeah, I like that. And then, well, you copy it. Um, so yeah, it's always good to share, well, share what you do. So yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you've built, what you've made it out of. Um, and yeah, so I want to try and make more sort of scratch building, kit bashing videos. Um, but yeah, sometimes it is a case of I never know what to make, which is why I always ask you guys, because if you guys come up with an idea and I'm like, oh yeah, I like the idea of that, then that's exactly what I will do and I'll have a go at making something you guys suggest. So I'm trying something a little bit different for all the areas that are going to be silver. Um, I'm going to do the um, the black sort of speed paint first. Um, obviously this will still show up some of the, uh, the dry brushing from underneath. But um, yes, yeah, so I fancy anything that's going to be silver, I'm going to um, paint in black first. Uh, and then later on, I'm going to do a bit of dry brushing with silver afterwards. Just to see what sort of effect that gives. I think sometimes when I do these silvery bits in silver, um, they look too silvery. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but uh, in my head it does. So yeah, I thought I'd have a go at doing something a little bit, a uh, little bit different. So good old Orc here. Uh, he's going to get painted in the same style that I now paint all my Orcs, um, just because I, I like how they look, and obviously their colours and clothes all sort of fit in. So yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Uh, his head, his head is quite large. Um, I've forgotten who it's from. It's one of those third-party heads, and I mean, orc heads, orc heads are quite large anyway. Uh, but this dude's head, for some reason, seemed even larger than normal. But um, well, it's an orc, so they don't have to look normal. So if they have an abnormal-sized head, then yeah, albeit that's how they look. But I mean, that's the other reason why I, I love orcs, just because it's like they, they don't take themselves seriously. And I think anyone who plays orcs doesn't take themselves seriously either, uh, which is really cool. So as much as obviously you want to play the game, win the game, um, and orcs do win. I mean, it's not that they lose all the time, they do win. 
but yeah, they are just well, they're just fun guys, and so I'm, I'm quite a, I'm quite an optimistic kind of person. I've always see the uh, the silver lining in things. So for me, orcs uh, seem very much on par with that. They always seem uh, pretty happy. Well, I say happy. Obviously, they're going around and killing people and chopping heads off, but they're they're happy doing it. So that, that's the main thing. So yeah, as you can see, a uh, bit of dry brushing with silver. Um, yeah, again, really happy with how these these everything came out. Because uh, obviously, it hits all the the edges, which then makes it look so the uh, the actual item is metallic, and certainly looks good over the black as well. Kind of liked how that uh, that came out. So it's certainly more of a, a dirty, grimy looking silver. Um, but that's kind of how I like it. Uh, is it. Is it grim, dark style? Is that sort of the the sort of dirty looking sort of style? To be honest, I'm not too sure. But um, if it is, then that's kind of what I like. Uh, he says, as he then goes over and paints with a nice, bright, bold red. <laughs> Just because I, I was thinking the red looked a little bit too, uh, a bit too dull. Um, again, yeah, I think it's just because I'm, I'm really enjoying dry brushing. Uh, I've kind of gone dry brushing mad, I think. But uh, yeah, I love the uh, I love the results, and well, I love doing it. So uh, yeah, it's all good. So he's nearly done. Um, so I know not everyone's into orcs, uh, certainly as much as as I am. So yeah, guys, let me know if there's any other sort of vehicles you want me to have a go at making for different factions. Then by all means, let me know. Um, if you just leave it in the comments, I'll go and look up what the vehicle is. And yeah, if I like it, I'll have a go at making it. I say I must admit though, I do like more Mad Max style vehicles than uh, than anything else. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. So he's all much pretty done. Uh, last sort of thing that I like to do, and that is dry, um, oh, not dry brush, I've got dry brush on the brain. Uh, that is put a wash over. So with the orc bits of metal, I have done them full silver um, and copper. And then yeah, it's a case of going over with a wash. And yeah, that's him pretty much done. Then it's just a case of putting the wheels back on. And they go on obviously nice and easy. And then popping the, uh, the dude off of his, uh, his little base. And again, I'm always making sure now not to sort of face the blade towards me, so I don't cut myself again. Um, yeah, he normally yeah they just shoot off, and yeah, there he goes. He's in his little position. Okay, let's stick him on a little turntable thingy and see how he looks. So if you do like how this vehicle turned out and well and you'd like to have him it's very simple once a month i'm going to be giving away something that i've made to one of my patrons so yeah nothing they really got to do just got to enter their name and yeah every month someone is going to win something that i've uh, well i've built um well i think in some cases i'm going to do it so they can choose what i've built so yeah guys head over to my patron page um if you want to uh, be in a chance of winning this and also I want to say a big shout out thank you to my patrons um, as they do help obviously fund this channel as well as my sponsors Anycubic and Easy Roll of Dice and let me know in the comments guys what you want to see me make next um, so yeah leave all the comments and like, subscribe, share all that kind of good stuff and you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one bye for now